1998 BC84. What are all values of x for which the series summation from 1 to infinity of x plus 2 to the nth over the square root of n converges? And again, with whenever we're looking for an interval of convergence, which is what we're looking for here, we're going to go to the ratio test. Limit as n approaches infinity. Absolute value of the n plus first term. So x plus 2 to the n plus 1 over square root of n plus 1 and times the reciprocal of the nth term square root of n over x plus 2 to the nth power, the absolute value of that. Simplify that a bit. Limit as n approaches infinity of square root of n over n plus 1 times absolute value x plus 2 to the n plus 1 over x plus 2 to the nth power. Now, for the square root of n over n plus 1, you might recall that limits with function composition limit as n approaches infinity of the square root of n over n plus 1 is really the limit as n approaches infinity of the square root. Sorry. It is the square root of the limit as n approaches infinity of n over n plus 1. So when we have uh, function composition and limits, you're going to take the limit of the inside function and evaluate the outside function at that limit. And we can see that the limit of that inside function is 1 and the square root of 1 is just 1. So this whole thing comes down to just be absolute value of x plus 2. And the ratio tells, test tells us that this series will converge when that uh, limit is less than 1. So we have x plus 2 has got to be less than 1 but greater than negative 1 or x has got to be greater than negative 3 and less than negative 1. Now we still have to test the endpoints. x equals negative 3. With negative 3, we're going to end up with a negative 1 to the n over square root of n. And that is a Notice the alternating part there. This is easiest to uh, resolve as an alternating series. One, it is strictly alternating. Two, um, decreases in absolute value. Terms decrease in absolute value. You can see that square root of n increases without bounds, so therefore 1 over square root of n is going to decrease. And limit as n approaches infinity of the a sub n term is, the, is 0. So the terms decrease in absolute value to 0, strictly alternates, therefore this, is an alt, this passes the alternating series test, and it converges. With uh, x equals negative 1, here we're going to end up with simply 1 over square root of n, and that's a p-series. p equals 1 half um, not greater than 1, therefore it diverges. So a p-series has to have an exponent greater than 1. So we're going to end up with the left side. We include the left endpoint, but not the right. And so we have negative 3, greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than negative 1. 
and the answer would be B. Now you don't have to do all this work and you don't have to show all of this work for a multiple choice question. But I do it there for your help, hopefully. I thought I'll do it for this question.